What's going on guys? It's Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer and I'm back with yet another The Division Weapon Review. Today is review number 74 and will feature the newly introduced G36 assault rifle that became available as part of update 1.3. But before we get into the review, here are some basic stats and in-game weapon info for you on the G36. The country of origin is Germany. The rate of fire is 750 rounds per minute. The magazine is 30 rounds. The fire type is full auto only and the reload speed is 2.30 seconds. Noted German arms designer Heckler & Koch began design for the G36 in the early 1990s, and it officially entered service with the German army in 1997 as a replacement for the dated G3 battle rifle. The weapon is a selective fire 5.56 mm assault rifle, firing from a closed rotary bolt. The G36 is a conventional design, modular weapon that features a free-floating barrel and makes extensive use of lightweight polymer construction which allows the weapon to weigh in at just 8 pounds. It features an 18.9 inch barrel and standard folding stock and has an overall effective firing range out to 800 meters. Our end game variant is the classic model and comes as the weapon would have come back in the 1990s. It is not to be mistaken for the G36C or compact version which is considerably shorter. Much praise was thrown towards the G36 once it was introduced in Update 1.3, and for good reason. Assault rifles were becoming a forgotten element in the division due to their average damage figures and lack of identifying weapon perk. My 204 gear score G36 assault rifle was entirely skill talent equipped, and all but one of the talents were locked due to the high requirements in electronics. However, even with the talents locked, this weapon was a straight up beast right out of the box, and even when I ran it through a mission naked, it was still able to handle level 31 to 32 NPCs with consistency. What was so refreshing about the G36 was its SMG-like stability, which has always been my biggest complaint about ARs in general. The best weapon talents and perks are nothing if you can't land your rounds on target, and the G36 shows pinpoint precision at all but the longest ranges. Reload speeds are SMG-like at just 2.3 seconds, and the starting magazine can easily be doubled up to the 60 range through the use of a mag mod. With base stats of 35 stability, 55 accuracy, and an optimal range out to 25 meters, the G36 really behaves more like an SMG than an assault rifle. As with all assault rifles since update 1.3, the G36 is granted extra damage versus enemy armor, but this is only an effect in PvE situations. I did experiment with different mods including accelerating the fire rate and found it to have an adverse effect on the weapon as it became a recoil machine and I would not recommend this mod. With the fire rate left at the original 750 rounds per minute, if equipped with a high magnification scope, the G36 can be used as a counter sniper weapon by making use of its great stability. All of this strength did not go unnoticed, and the weapon was nerfed this week and the overall damage figures were reduced by 15%. My suggested mods would center on ammo and gear mods. More ammo is always a good thing, and making use of any gear mods that can up the base damage of ARs is needed to overcome the recent damage nerf. I'm going to rate the 204 Gear Score G36 Assault Rifle a 5 out of 5 stars. I've had an opportunity to use this weapon both pre and post patch and still find it to be an easy weapon to use. It has what I'm looking for in the areas of stability and accuracy as it handles more like an SMG and with the recent addition of the Assault Rifle Enemy Damage modifiers, it is a formidable weapon versus high level NPCs. I like the direction our game is headed with the new weapon perks as it has really started to encourage variety and reward the use of more than just SMGs and DMRs. As always, I would love to hear your thoughts on this weapon and my review. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. In addition, if you could take the time to rate the video with either a thumbs up or down, it would be greatly appreciated. I will leave a link in the description below to my entire The Division Weapon Review playlist and check back daily for my latest reviews. Remember from my channel, likes, comments, subs would loved. Until my next weapon review, this has been Lieutenant Buzz Lightbeer saying peace out.